Police on the Upper West Side are investigating after a popular Israeli restaurant is tagged with graffiti. That's right. You can see here red paint splashed all over the building and the words form line here to support genocide were written on the sidewalk in front of it. Fox Eyes Chris Welch talked to the owner about what happened. It's just scary and it's rude, you know, it's like, I don't know, I, I, I have no words. I, I cannot find the right word. I'm just terrified. When Ben Zara showed up for her shift at Effie's Cafe Sunday morning, the paint and graffiti was still wet. She knew it had just happened. Red blood paint, like, sprinkled all of here, dripping, and the black sign about genocide and the free Gaza sign over here. But 24 hours later, thanks to support from a community armed with power washers, it is essentially gone. And that community showed up once again hours later, filling the tiny West 96th Street Cafe. How hard was it to get a table today? <laughs> it was. Uh, it took a while, but it was well worth the wait. I want to show that when these horrible things happen, we're just going to unify, and we're, it's just going to embolden us to do more and to support more. They never go out for lunch, but you know, when we see senseless vandalism to Jewish establishments, it gives all of the motivation to go and support. What makes New York the best place in the world is out of many one. If I don't come here in solidarity with my Jewish neighbor, then I am not only a coward, but I'll put myself in a vulnerable situation. We have to all oppose anti-Semitism as we have to oppose racism of any type. Congressman Jerry Nadler, the most senior Jewish member of the House, had a message for those who did this. We will oppose you, and you should be more intelligent. Um, people should be judged individually and not as members of, of groups and uh, you, you've got a lot to learn. Now, as to the search for those responsible, the NYPD tells us they have notified the Hate Crimes Task Force, but the investigation remains ongoing. On the Upper West Side, Chris Welch, Fox 5 News.